This is the Skyloft. Figured I'd uh, give the recording a shot. Last time I recorded a video, I didn't realize the mic was picking up. Uh, I'm using the uh, built-in recorder. And I want to see how that works with the Skyloft, with the recent update from Windows, the old betas, and all that shit. Um, so, Skyloft is kind of cool. Uh, one thing I noticed in this is over there, where you see those buildings, that's 3D, and the rest of this is just basically a static kind of 360 photo. So you see that uh, that uh, boat over there? It looks like it's supposed to be moving, but it stopped. So it's just this photo, and you can also put your hand through the glass. Um, I don't normally customize these areas a lot, although I do actually use these quite a bit, uh, mostly for watching uh, movies, uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I like that I can use desktop here, um, so you can access your desktop. Um, this means I can launch Steam from here. It would be nice if I could actually launch it from the shortcut inside of the uh, Skyloft or the other house. Um, okay, I cut myself off. I forgot that if I press the Windows button, it's going to stop recording. But uh, I was just looking for the name of the other one. And then I now can't remember because I remembered this one. Or whatever. But, whatever. So, here we have the... Thing. You can put your head through it just as long as you are going to hit it. And there it is. I put my head through the glass. I have to go to the hospital again. Again, I actually went to the hospital today. It was nothing special. But it was just to let me make sure that I am okay and I don't die later. And I was fine. Fucking hypochondriac. Anyways, so... Yeah, like I said, the buildings over there are 3D. Um, so those pop out a little. But over there, everything's flat. The water doesn't move. It's just a static image. And I don't know that there's anywhere where they have moving water. The other uh, environment has it, not this one. So, yeah. But it looks really cool. You can go watch movies. Uh, I have a Plex server set up on my Shield TV. It seems backwards if you have a PC that's capable of it, but I don't care. So, ha 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 ha. I just thought it was cool that I could do that, so I did. But right now my Shield TV is off, so I can't watch any movies because uh, apparently I don't have any videos except for I think I have like some bullshit gameplays or something. Four videos, yeah, I have like I can't even figure out where this is. Where is this? Uh, Using videos. Yeah, it's in the videos folder. I have to delete that because I don't need it. A stupid Call of Duty gameplay, and then I have some Steam VR stuff, so you can watch movies and videos or whatever over here. And of course you can pull up YouTube on a web browser and do that. Um, can you go up here? No. I guess because you can't actually fit all the way up there because height restrictions or whatever. Um, huh? I can play Forza 7, uh, the demo. Unfortunately their frame rate dips a lot when I played in VR, so that doesn't work out well. However, when I went back up here, over here I did do a gameplay playing Killer Instinct here. Unfortunately, you can't play Steam games because of controller input issues. Um, when you play Windows games, a controller, and you grab a controller, a controller icon pops up here, and you can select it and it'll let you use the controller in the game, but not with with uh, Steam. It's annoying. So you end up just with the inputs from the VR thing. But you can go into Steam 
and use their funeral thing. It's just that I don't like it as much. It's kind of bland. And it tends to lag a lot. So, whatever. I love looking over this ledge. Like you're going to fall. I also, I walked off the ledge and it resets you back to here. Um, so, yeah. It will reset you, but uh, it, unless you stand out here for a little while, and then you look down like you're going to fall, and it's, it's cool, and then you end up back here. I wish I could just walk off and over there. That would be cool, but I can't. Um, battery door is coming off the controller. Uh, that has happened to me about three times. Um, it feels like it shouldn't happen. It doesn't feel like something that, that could happen, but it does happen. Um, I've never been able to do it trying to do it. It's when you're not trying to do it that, uh, that works. I love looking off this ledge. I don't know. I like... I. I <laughs> I like looking off. I like walking off. I can't do it right now. Actually, I could if I maybe make it over here. Let's see what's in front of it. If I go here, as close to that as I can, so I don't kill myself in real life. Oh, I'm got a cable. Here I am. I'm over the ledge. It will reset me back. Just gotta be careful because I'm being snagged by the cable. Let's see if it resets me. Okay, there's a time limit on the recordings. Uh, let's ask me stuff. So I got uh, my recording got uh, whatever, but I can't walk. I don't think I can walk far enough. I'm trying to walk. It's telling me to walk left. There it goes. It reset me. Now I gotta go back. Um, yeah, okay, my, my cable actually got snagged underneath the uh, desk. <laughs> so that caused me to not be able to walk far enough. Anyways, hey, controllers are acting. How likely are you to recommend Windows Mixed Reality to a friend or colleague? Well, let's see. Uh, I will tell you guys, uh, I definitely recommend it, um, unless, of course, with this specific headset, do not go with this specific headset if you're interested in sitting in a theater. Uh, let me just X out of this. If you're interested in sitting in like a, a virtual theater to watch movies, I would even go with the Gear VR over this because this gives off bad god rays in really dark areas. And when you're watching a movie, that kind of setting actually, um, in a theater, that actually gets really terrible. But when you're in these kind of areas, it's great. And watching a movie on something like this is great. But if it's dark all around and the screen it has a movie playing, it ends up with these horrible god rays. And it really makes it hard. That's the one reason I would say either go with... Uh, Go with anything with an OLED display, or go with something like the Gear VR or something like, or a Daydream. Because, or I would really not go with the Daydream because of the drifting issues. But try to go with something that has an OLED display that doesn't have drifting because of the horrible god rays in dark areas. Other than that, the games are great. Uh, this is really awesome. The price, if you get it at the right price, it can't be beat. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, the only thing I would say is don't go with the Vive Pro because it's a fucking ripoff. And especially with that customer service that they have at HTC. I wish I could actually... I wish I had the room to walk right over there. Hold up. No, I can't. Fuck. Oh, well. Whatever. There's a way you can modify it the uh, controls to get them to so you can basically go anywhere with the analog sticks but that only works with Steam VR and whatever who cares um so let me hey that's not awesome let me play around with these leaves I like these leaves they're the best okay so let's, let's look directly at them um they have a low resolution Lucian textures, so it's a little blurry. Let me eat them. See how they taste.
That was good. Actually, it was a great salad. Okay. So, let me just pick this thing up. Get up and just hit myself with it. Uh, okay. I don't know how to put this back the way it was. I think you can reset the whole thing, but I don't want to do that, so that's good enough. So, yeah, this is great for... Uh, works excellent if you're used to things like uh, Gear VR and stuff. This is amazing. It's just that I would still go back to the Gear VR for things like movies and stuff like that. Unless, of course, like I said, you're here. But you still get better black levels uh, in movies and things. Because you have that Super AMOLED pattern if you have like a Galaxy S8 or whatever. And a less, there's less of the... Um, Less of the, um, what the hell is that, uh, the, uh, the, one, the thing I'm looking at right now, what is it? Oh, screen door effect. The screen door effect is less. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's good. But it's still, it's, it's really cool if you get it for, like, around 200, a little over 200 bucks. It's really, it's, it's a steal. And I don't even have a PC that really supports VR. Um, it's just like a cheap office PC with some souped up specs. And it works great, so. so with the hey Cortana, take a video. This works even when you're in a game. Cortana's talking to me about recording. Anyways, uh, I got cut off again, but I was going to say with the asynchronous time warping and whatever else, um, this, this looks just fine. So even if it's dipping frames, you don't notice that. So that's cool. And you get to play, not only do you get to play the Windows Mixed Reality stuff and play around in these environments, you also get to play Steam VR and uh, Oculus stuff if you set it up with Revive. And it works really well. And I just, I can't stop moving around. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, you can also use a lot of voice commands to navigate, like, go there. And that works. <laughs> so, it, I don't understand where I'm telling it to go. But I guess it's supposed to be the center of my gaze. So it'd be like, go there. Yeah. I think it's the center of your gaze. There's no like dot in the middle there or whatever. Whatever. There's the moon. The moon and stars. It seems too bright for the moon to be out or whatever. I guess it's a picture of real life. I just love sitting here, over here like this. Putting my head through the glass is awesome too, I don't know why. I wish the glass would break. I could smash my head through the glass. Yeah, definitely the positional tracking adds a lot. And uh, just for some people uh, worried about jumping around when you're tired, like VR, you have to jump around, you have to do all this stuff. You don't. You can sit around like a fucking fat, lazy bum like I am right now. And, you know, because I was concerned about that. I was like, oh, God, I'm going to have to, like, jump around, do all this shit. But, you know, and I'm sitting here like a fucking lazy pile of shit. And I don't have to do a goddamn thing. I can sit on this couch right here and watch a movie if I wanted to. So, that's cool. I can change the placement of this desktop, put a big-ass fucking movie right here. I don't know why the mail's here. Like, I'm going to use the mail app. Fuck that mail app and fuck the calendar app too. Boom. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's take the desktop, put it over here. Make it smaller. And then, if I could actually press the Windows button without this, um, <laughs> without the recording ending, I could put a movie thing here and that would be that but I can't because then I'll stop the recording but because of this I think I am done
so I am going to press the Windows button and stop the recording. Thank you for watching.